Hey yo, welcome to Tomorrow's Kingdom. I'm your host Kevin Hossein. And Michael Mordecai. And today we got a very special guest, man, TK. Yes, you know, sir. This the man with the plan, <laughs> boy. Man, 43 units, doing it. You know, he started with nothing and uh, he's just been going there. So we're going to get a lot of knowledge from him and uh, about investing, tips, how to start, you know, all the good stuff, you know, anything that comes down there. So you guys be ready for that, you know, we'll get you. So welcome back everybody. Tip of the week. Tip of the week is pay close attention when you're playing with other people's money. Not playing with other people's money, I mean investing in other people's money. If you're going to your father, your mom, and you want to take out their equity on their house, be assured that you're investing that in something that's secure and something that you did your research on because at the end of the day, that person worked hard for that money. So you just don't want to blow it. You just don't want to waste it. Shit, cool, man. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Because I know a lot of people yeah. like they uh they take advantage of that. They know like oh, mom and pops, they got like yeah, ah oh, man, you know they could loan me a five hundred or oh, I could take some equity uh, mm -hmm. or whatever, and then they just waste it or do something stupid, invest in some stupid. Yeah, yeah, rest of the way. Totally, you know? gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Right? So you seen people like that too? You hear stories like that or no? Yeah, all the time. Uh, just. Like you said, waste people money, um, or just scamming. There's so much scamming going on right now. No. Um, shit, people scamming their own parents. Yeah. So pretty much now, pretty much now that you just gotta just have a contract. You gotta have a lawyer. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you need to notarize things. Um, everything now has gotta be like face to face. Yeah. Uh, you gotta have somebody in the middle with legal documents or something to where the deal can go the way it needs to go. Yeah. You know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Alright, so that was a good tip, man. So, you know, I know y'all been waiting for it. So, you know, let's get into it with, uh, like I said, is TK, you want to introduce yourself? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got the floor. I know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, TK, um, Terrence Gray, um, they called me as well. Uh, did real estate about six years now. Um, owned over 40 properties. Started with a duplex and, you know, just learn, just learn every step, learn things here and there to get to where I'm at. So I recently purchased a condo and right now it's for Airbnb. Mm, okay. so that was the last one you did was a yeah. condo? I got my condo. That was number yes. 43? Yeah. There number 43. No, wow, <laughs> dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got that right there. Um, let's see, it's November. I purchased about two months ago. About two months ago. Yeah, so I got it for a good deal. Um, actually, I paid the condo was around, it was under 100000 but my mortgage on it is actually $65 a month. What? So I was able to, like, you know, Damn. work the system and everything. So my mortgage is $65 a month, and I Airbnb the property. So, wow. you know, my cash on cash is, I can't, it's, it's good. Yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty so, good. Yeah, so okay, we about to cool. change up this podcast. All right, man. So, <laughs> so how do you get a mortgage for $65 a month? Uh, we, today, today. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it just... OPM, OPM, other people money. Um, then you got low interest rate. It's COVID time. Everybody is trying to find a deal. Okay. Yeah, everybody is giving out deals. You have um, lenders. You got one per well, not one percent, but two percent deals. Um, investment property, three point seven percent, and even you can like say you get a a loan, a personal well, a loan. Yeah. And you can just take those funds to just do whatever you want to do with them. You know, it's just way you just gotta work the work the system out wow. and uh, make the deal happen. Wow. Now, now uh, for the people out there, like, so you said you have uh, forty three units. Is this all in like uh, one area or all no? It's all around Fayetteville. All my properties. Um, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, so all okay. my properties are in Fayetteville. Okay. Um, I will be buying in Cleveland next year, and also Alabama. Oh, okay. So you're gonna branch out? Yeah. Yeah. My oh, dad. Right. My dad started. Buying properties in Cleveland before he passed away, so okay. it's for me to kind of look at like I'm gonna finish what he started. Nice. So nice. I'll be buying yeah. next year in Cleveland yeah, to just represent the great family. You know what I mean? Will, will, will you continue with Fayetteville also? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Fayetteville is home. You know that's right. home. You know. So uh, mama there. So so if uh, if anyone out there from where he's from, right, and looking to get invested or whatever, 
yeah, I'll leave his uh, contact information down there. You know, you can hit him up for advice, or if you're looking to do a deal or got yeah. a deal or something. Yeah, you know, most just, definitely. Just hit, hit him, hit him up. So, TK, so all right, you got 43 units, amazing. What changed you? What made you start investing? Um, just you know, just um, seeing people, seeing other people that own things. You know, just seeing other people with it. Uh, I want to retire. You may see somebody that owns this big tall building and you know just just tired of talking about the man you know I always yeah. talk about somebody else or I just wanted to, to become the man so okay. and it's just like I always want things I always wanted things um, and just went after it oh, okay. so this condo that you just got was this <coughs> your best deal uh, as far as the mortgage payment yes yes, yes. So which which one do you consider your best deal? Uh, Gray Hill Apartments. Gray Hill Apartment. That's my. That's probably my favorite. Okay, tell us a little bit. Yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear. Uh, if it could be a sixty-three dollar mortgage. Gray Hill, <laughs> right. okay, Gray Hill Apartment took me about about almost a year to close. Wow. Um, man. just having to some of the paperwork. Is that? Uh, a year to close, you already had an ink contract? Yeah, contract. I had a contract. My realtor is Tony. Uh, that's my guy. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Tony. That's my, uh, that's my dude there. Realtor, he, uh, he showed me the, showed me everything. So we had a um, Great Hill apartment. Contract like a year or so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Doing all paperwork and everything. Mm -hmm. And just finally closed it. Closed it this March, March 2019. Wow. Um, just renovating all the units. You know, bump oh, up the, the how ARV. Oh, how many units was that? Twenty. Twenty units. Yeah. So just you know, just um, trying to do the whole ARV thing and everything like that. Okay. So just focus. With a with a part with a complex of that size with twenty units, does it is a year? Does it usually take a year or mm, six months? No, or? no, no. It's and I, well, honestly, um. I don't know. You know, I don't really know. Everybody has their own situation going on. Mm, yeah, yeah. But you know, with with me being overseas, yeah, um, like that, it just a lot back and forth. Make sure it's not like a scam or something like that. It's okay. it was difficult. It was difficult. It was time I want to give up. Relative just saying, Terrence, Terrence, we almost there. Terrence, just keep your cool. Keep your cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like Tony, man, to hell with this deal. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Hell with this. We gonna do some more deals. We gonna do some more. Like, I don't care. Okay. So, um, it just it so happened with that deal. What was the easiest and what was the hardest thing besides like that that year of waiting, right? What was the easiest thing you like looking back now? Was it like finances, inspections, or whatever? You know what I mean? And then what was um, the hardest? Getting approved. You know, not really. You know, not having your name already out there. That you know, was the hardest. You, yeah, the hardest. And you got somebody. You got a young man. They never like had that kind of money on them and everything. Yeah. And, and just dealing with people, um, just trying to close, trying to get your name out there. I'm overseas. Yeah. So they they like it just got real, mm -hmm. or just trying to get the deal on close. And then the easiest part. Uh, so they, easiest so they part for me. The, checks. <laughs> <laughs> the Easiest part for me is um the renovations. Renovation. Yeah, I love I love renovating. Mm. Renovation, like that's my thing. There's nothing like taking something from nothing to making it mm. into something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So okay. That's it's good. like that. So I enjoy it. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I mean that's a year year with 20 units mm -hmm. so yeah it's just like also oh, next year gonna be a big a big year for us so look out so all right so all right cool so i know a lot of people out there probably like uh man, 20 units that's the dream like even even if you just get one apartment building that'd be like the shit right yeah so you you've been there you've been from the beginning now you're kind of you, you already like know where you're going you already got system down your team and all that type of stuff yes mm -hmm. for the person that don't have none of that Maybe they got the funds, or maybe they got the plan, or they got the idea, or they know what they want. Like, what would you tell them, like, to start? Or like, or like, what would you tell yourself six years ago, like, 
the TK back then just like, damn man, I want that building. Like, what would you tell him? You know? Talking about as a, uh, a new like beginner new, to what to do to yeah. as far as like, um, be focused. Be focused, know what you want, write a roadmap out from start to finish and tackle every step. Like, every single step, get you a team, yeah. like-minded like people, and um, you might go out to go eat. I love crab legs. Like, that's my thing, crab legs. Go out and go eat crab legs, discuss your plan. Okay. And then have your friends or whoever help motivate you guys. You know, um, we all need each other for something. So just find like-minded people, uh, stack your money up, uh, don't accept no. I mean, you don't accept no. Like, just lock in your mind to just say, this is mine. You know, I'm not going to stop. You're not going to tell me what to do. You're not going to tell me I can't do some that and everything. So, just be hungry. You know, be hungry yeah, yeah, yeah. and just, like, just know what you want. You know, so. Yeah, well, I feel that because, uh, I mean, I'm nowhere on that scale yet. However, on the first, the, well, I have a triplex, right? So, yeah. when I close on that triplex, you know, I had four no's from the banks. Like, four Correct. banks turned me down before I got the fifth yeah. bank to tell me yes. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, so, that, that's <clears> a good point, man. Like, don't just take no, the first no or the second no. That's a funny mm -hmm. story. So the funny story is whenever I got my first property, my first duplex, I was sleeping. I mean, if I was in Afghanistan, Canada, Afghanistan, using mm -hmm. this bank and everything, and the bank told me, yeah, 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 we're going to do it, this and that. And so, like, um, I woke up the next morning and seen the email. Um, and just saying, your loan has been, like, disqualified. Mm -hmm. So... I'm like, I'm pissed. I'm oh, man, this and that. I called Tony, uh, I'm like, Tony, man, what's going on? And Tony said, like, um, can't remember what he said exactly. I said, Tony, you know what? It's cool. I'm paying cash for it. So I paid cash for my first duplex because mm. they told me no. Yeah. You know, so like, um, oh, so you was originally going to do financing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, okay. yes, yes. So at the same time, though, I was, um, my mind was trained to just stack up money and everything, stack up money for any emergency. So whenever the bank told me no the first time, yeah, I paid cash for it the next day, yeah. and oh, pay wow. cash for it, um, and it's just hey, you made it work. Yeah, made it work. So made, made it work, it work. and uh, just uh, kept it going. Just kept that attitude right there, and just like you not gonna tell me no, not in a just a hungry way, a motivated way. You know what I mean? Yes, motivated sir. and everything yeah. like that. It's just like um. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to mm. read a book. I'm going to go ask this man. I'm going to ask that man. I'm yeah. going to go ask somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask somebody and everything like, help me. What can I do? You see, I'm hungry and everything. That's how I kind of met my realtor. Just like, Tony, man, look. I'm a young kid. I was mm -hmm. in my 20s. I told him I'm a young kid. I got some money saved up. This is what I want. Yeah. And uh, that's great that you brought <coughs> that up because I did the same thing with... Um, the realtor that I'm working with and the property manager mm -hmm. and actually the lender from the bank that I'm trying to use. Yeah. I told them all the same thing. I'm new at this. I'm going to ask questions. If I ask questions, please provide me with these answers because Correct. I'm learning as I'm going. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I talked to, I was talking to, I was telling Kelvin um, earlier today, I was talking to my property manager for over an hour last night. Yeah. And he tell me things I need to do. I'm like, thank you. This is the reason why I want you. This is the reason why I hired you. Just so you could give me information. A lot of people are f just afraid to ask. Nah, not me. Not yeah. me. Like, uh, I don't know it all. So, mm -hmm. I want to learn. So, I'm going to learn. Um, just not going to accept no. Yeah. But, uh, I just want to. I'm always in the books. I'll go mm -hmm. to a class. I'm just, I'm motivated. Yeah. Just, just so motivated to just exceed to a level to where I can just, like, retire my mom. You know, my mom is where I want to. I want to retire her. Okay. So, and for my future family, take care of my future family as well. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just want to set them up. So what will be the next goal after these, uh, well, you got the 43 now, so what's the next step for you? Like, what's, where you see yourself now, like, the next five years? <coughs> it's been six years to get you here. Yeah. What's the next six years look like? Uh, well, now mm -hmm. I have a team. I have a team works for my company, uh, like, Bridge Real Estate. I have a team and everything, so, uh, just to buy more. You know, just buy more, uh, have a team for flipping, for buying a whole, mm -hmm. team for wholesaling, yep, yep. you know, and just uh, 
a team for like teaching people the game. You know, so you're trying to do more 20 unit buildings? No. Or are you trying to get to like 100, 1,000 I want, units? I want as many as I can get. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No so cap. I want, no, I want as many as I can, nice. as I can get. Okay. So, you know, and then, you know, just to just keep on going, you know, just keep yeah. on going and just, you know, stay focused and be hungry. I got a question for you, because being that you already, you seasoned in it, Kelvin, you know, he's starting to get seasoned into it, and me, I'm just beginning. At the beginning, was it fun for you? No, stress. I was stressed out. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I was stressed out. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling, man. <laughs> miserable in Afghanistan, taking a long. Yeah. I didn't want to drive the car. I said, walk to work. Just walk to work. <laughs> just to think. Just trying to think. Just like, yeah. man, why am I having? Why am I having these issues for? Why am I having yeah. the issue and everything? Why? Why can't just like why me? Yeah. Why me and everything? So. Yeah, I I find myself being getting more stressed. You know, I have Kelvin. You know, yeah, he's yeah. a mentor to me. So I talk to him about certain situations, but there's a lot of times where I'm just like, yeah, not, not yeah. feeling, man. Yeah, like, you know? Especially on that first one when you just want it to go so smooth. Yeah. Yes. But then it's just like you said, it's like, damn, why me? Why can't I? Yeah. Damn, this shit ain't made for me or something. <coughs> like, like, yeah. Was I supposed to do something else? Or yeah. is it the wrong prop? You start second guessing yourself? Yeah, so for me, yeah. just like uh, my realtor, he's um, he's everything to me. Like, he, yeah. um, he kept me focused. You know, he, he, he know how to, like, really work with me. So. Mm. And I be going off the wall, just like mad and stuff. Like, what I do wrong? You know yeah. what I do wrong? So Tony, he know how to like keep me <laughs> at a level to where just like Terrence is gonna be alright. It's like just take your time, um, pray about it, you know, and just we gonna do it. We gonna do it and everything. Yeah, so. Both of them. so is it fun for you now? Yeah, I love it. I love <laughs> it. It's it's nothing like. Yeah, I love it. Texting the work and everything. So stuff done. when when did it get from frustrated to fun? When did your elves check? Your elf change? Um, after I did ten renovations, my first ten. Mm, after my first ten renovations, uh, it was fun. I was just like, oh, this is all I need to do. <laughs> yeah. So I just like now I have a whole te- a whole whole system that I can do. I have a whole system that I go through. And it works. Nice. Um, so, uh, I know you said one of the biggest things in the beginning is to get your team done, right? Get your team. <clears throat> what about like finances? Finances, well, that's the most important thing right there. But like, that comes with the team. So, get your team. Well, you really gotta do a team and everything. But um, finances, get your business together. You know, like. Make yourself more professional. Um, because you know what I'm saying, right? Because like, there's a lot of people out there that, that want to get into real estate. Correct. And a lot of, the, the, I think the biggest hurdle that's stopping them or the biggest one is they're probably thinking like the money. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, man, I ain't got the, the money now. So they use that and they stop. Like, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people, I know. Yeah, that. yeah, you're right. So, but the thing is, though, if you can, uh, you can get a property with only. Um, to fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. I mean, uh, like, if you can, it's ways to get money. It's just so many ways you can get funding that's not your money, uh, or you can like lower your standards. Mm-hmm. You know, um, why go get this forty thousand dollar car? Half in three years, you can save up forty thousand dollars in three years. Mm-hmm. You know, you yeah. can, uh, and you can buy more more properties with that. So it just like you gotta, you gotta set the tone. Mm-hmm. What you want? You want you want this now? You want this later on in the line, which is gonna take care of that. What you want? Yeah. You know. So why not go get a? Why not go get you investment property, mm-hmm. and that's gonna pay your car note plus your house all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I like long term. Um, so I'm not really interested to, to the whole flash stuff right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Like that. Uh, I like that part that you said. Like that sacrifice. Like, what do you want now? You know? Yeah. How bad you want it? Yeah. Because yeah, you say you want, want it. it. Eric Thomas. Yeah. yeah. You know how, how bad you, how bad you want it. So I want it bad. You want, it, you want uh, as much as you want breathe. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yeah, I, I, mean, I just, I just want it bad. I want it bad. I want it more than anything. Like it's, I just, I'm hungry. You know, I'm hungry. I want it. Like, what's next? Like, what's next? Like, um, yeah, I bought this last property and everything, but like, what's next? What's next? So, call Tony up. Tony, what's next? All right, Tony, this is what we'll do in the future. 
So I'm just, I'm always hungry. Okay. You know, if if this guy can do it, why can't I do it? If, yeah. You know, you got other investors. They got way more properties than me. If they can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. it may take me longer. Nah. I mean, I have, I mean, I had a fund that they have or whatever, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. They had to start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it done. Yeah, man, no, I keep that same mentality. That, that's what drives me a lot. It's like, yeah. hey, man, you believe the same as me. Yeah. If you yeah. could do it, so can I. I, I ain't retarded. I could do this. I could do yeah. this shit. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Exactly. There's so, a way to do it. It's going to get yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's just how I am. So, <laughs> I'm just, I'm dedicated. You know, I'm dedicated. I'm hungry. I'm motivated. I'm ready to attack. So. Yeah, I mean, well, you're attacking, so. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just yeah. trying. I'm trying my hardest. Yeah. 43. Yeah. Your, your company, uh. Gray's real estate, right? That that's in Fayetteville. Fair, yeah. So then, when you go to, uh, let's say, uh, Cleveland, right? Uh, it's gonna you want to have to create a whole new company. A whole new team. I, I'm mm -hmm. doing uh, like whenever I start buying in Cleveland, I'm starting from it's just me. Okay. Just me. Uh, I'm gonna line everything up. This time will be better. I don't gotta struggle because I know uh, I know the path now. Yeah. So when I buy in Cleveland. I'm gonna start to start it all over again. Yeah. So I have a team in Fayetteville. Yeah. Cleveland. Okay. Wherever I invest that, I will have a team for that. And I have my project manager. He'll be flying to each city, each mm. state, or you know, I mean each city, and taking mm. care of the issue there. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so it's almost like you started from scratch, but this time. You got a bigger hand for that scratch. Yeah. Now I know what to do. Now I ain't got to like struggle or. I mean, it's still going to be a fight. Yeah, still going to be, still gonna be, fight, still gonna be rough and everything, but I know what to do now. Yeah. So I'm ready for it. Um, I'm excited. You know, it's for it's for my. You know, I look at it for, like, for my dad. You know what I mean? For so yeah, my dad and everything. Definitely. So. So when are you going to start that transition towards Cleveland? Next, next year, year? 2021. 2021. 2021, I will have my first property. In Cleveland. Oh, okay. Yo, Cleveland. 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 Watch you know out. Cleveland, Ohio. So I will have my first property there. <laughs> you trying to pick up something? You better do a fives. You better do a fives. Yes, sir. So, yes, yeah, so I have my first property in Cleveland, so uh, next year. Uh, man, that's amazing, man. Great job, man, really. So <laughs> if you could have went back in time, right? I know you hear this shit. There's this question. Yeah, that's like, fine. It's all good. If you could go back in time and do it all over again. How would you stop? Because I'm pretty sure you would not pay cash for the duplex, knowing what you know now. Oh no! Nah, right? nah, Being nah. like financially educated and invested in real estate um, and funding, what would? How would you approach that? OPM, you, other people might. Would you still go after the same duplex? Yeah. Right. I would have. Okay. I would have, but I would have took a different path. I wouldn't have used all my money for it. Okay. I would have. Um, so you would have got that first no, right? And then you well, hit a private investor. I would've, private investor or this other way to leverage money or okay, just, listen, or just, just no, listen this is this this the mind you know, this the know, mind just, thinking about it. just use other money yeah. that I may have just so uh, I wouldn't do it that way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't do it that way. Because remember now, right? Like uh so back then, you know, he got the first no, you know, and thankful that he had the fund and just to close on it hundred percent. Just like yo, you know mm -hmm. what man, here's cash Give me the um, took my friends into going to like a crab leg place, um, tell them the business deal, okay. make it sound good, and I probably do ten thousand. They probably do it. Most of my friends in the military, mm -hmm. so okay, yeah. military. Then we had another guy as well, my friends. So we could have all came up with like ten thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, then we could have like. Renovated or if, I mean just however it was it probably didn't need renovation, but we could have um, Did the burn method Yeah, or whatever and paid each other back and then still had the property. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wouldn't have had paid cash Okay. Yeah. Granted, yeah, it, it all worked out and everything still, yeah, yeah. but like you I said see. a lot of people don't really have Money like that to go buy a house cash no. yeah. um, I was fortunate and blessed enough to have the funds on me to go buy the property but that took I had to save, you know. I took like a, I was saving, I was saving everything, not buying nothing. So it was just grind. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you already knew kind of like an advance on that first year, like you was saving up 
before this, or you were just you just you was already on a mindset of saving. No, I was saving. I was okay. saving. I was saving money anyway. You just didn't know what you were saving. Yeah, for. I didn't know. <laughs> I, all I know is I want a lot of money. I right. want a lot of money, so I just saved in the bank and everything. Mm. Um, but how I got to real estate is also a whole different story too. Mm. Yeah. That's just a whole story itself and everything to like what drove me into real estate. Mm. Yeah, you know so. Okay. Yeah, I did remember uh, a story that you did tell me about. You said you wanted to buy the truck. The Tahoe. Yeah, yeah, Tahoe. Yeah, Tahoe. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, the office show my friends how I'm a, you know, drive the Tahoe and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And um, the guy came in, Gerald. Gerald's his name. Gerald came in and just like, um, what you doing? What you, what you doing over here, Terrence? And I told him, or TK. And he, I told him everything. He was like, what? About some real estate. He showed me his whole portfolio, my whole mouth drop. You know, this man, this man got, what, 10 houses, making like 10, 12K a month. Dang. Just all the property. I'm just like, what the hell with that Tahoe? I want this. Yeah. Matter of fact, my rent can pay for the Tahoe. You yeah. know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's like how I got started yeah, real estate. Kind of so, so the question is, do you have a Tahoe? Nah. <laughs> you nah. still have a six year? Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Damn. Nah. <laughs> So oh hey, that that right there is a clear indication is the things yeah. that you want now will not be the things that you will want later. I'm gonna get it though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I mean, but you go for it now. Yeah, probably not with the rails on everything yeah, like that. But, but, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh yeah, man, that's so. great. So you like in the mindset now when when you get more money, right? Because obviously. You're building your portfolio, you're getting more units. Each unit is bringing more income, more passive income. Now, obviously, you're still working, right? Yeah, still but working. You're taking this money, just for people out there, because many people think, like, oh, real estate, blah, 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 cool. You know, but if you got plans like how you got plans, you're taking this income and you're reinvesting it back into yourself, correct? Yes, yes. Right? You're not, I look at it for me, just for me, my nine to five job is just to it's a cushion to help me find my path or my dream to help retire me mm-hmm. so it just now if I can always change you yeah know, like mm-hmm. you know you can always lose it so it's just a cushion it's just some um, temporary money yeah um, so it just helped me get to where I need to get to okay. you know so that's how I look at it that's why I just been doing my whole life pretty much okay. Hey, hey, that's great, man. Oh, okay, hey, yeah, so, hey, that was great, oh, TK. Really appreciate the advice. Uh, the one thing that you said I want everybody to take is, <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all motherfuckers, don't settle for that no. Don't settle. If somebody tell you no, you look for another way. You look for another way. You look for another way. Because um, you end up, somebody going to tell you yes. And once you get that yes, all them questions that you ask every time you try are gonna be well worth it. So, uh, my biggest takeaway, man, my lesson I learned from TK was, man, you want that Cadillac, man? Well, we we can uh, wait home. six years in the town. You wait six years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then see if you really want it. You know yeah, right? then see if you really want it. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's another good one too. You know, like I mean, you could, but you could take that, you know, with like shoes or jewelry or yeah, the 2020 car, 21, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Throttle back like TK said, TK said like make a sacrifice put the shit on hold pick up some property to pay for that thing mm-hmm. Yeah, and then by the time you get there see if you really want it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Yeah, and so for me is um, just to put out there um, That one get to real estate everybody want to get into it right now um, Give it your friends give it your friends Get a layout going share something um, use Trello Google Maps, not Google Maps, but uh, Google, uh, Google, Google Docs, Google Docs, mm-hmm. yeah. and everything like that, and just um, get you a trail, like a step one to step ten, and and follow it, and go through it. You know, the same way how some of you guys, what we used to do back in the day, go half on the table at the club, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> go half on, go half on knowledge, and same way you buy that table, that yeah. full table, go half, do that same thing with the knowledge. Wow. You know, um, yeah, you're right. Okay. Just. Stay focused. Uh, ask me too. I mean, I'm very nice guy, so I'm always I'm always helpful and everything. Uh, and so just stay hungry. So where can people find you? Uh, IG, just call me just call me Gray. Just underscore call underscore me underscore Gray. G R A Y. 
Not yeah. Ewa. Ewa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. So we'll leave his uh, contact information, you know, down there. You definitely get a hold of him. Yeah. If you're in Fayetteville, you know, Cleveland, all the different spots that you mentioned now, definitely get with him. You know, he would, he would, he would definitely at least put you on game, all right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Oh, uh, yeah, I appreciate you a lot. You know, uh, so it's 2020 right now, and we'll see how things come in 2021. Hey, man, new beginnings, new relationships. Keep pushing. All right. Wow. Tomorrow's kingdom. You know. yeah. All right, brother. All right, man. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll be easy out there. Okay.